it is day two of stick. Okay, so this guy can't see me. One second. See if I... Okay, so day two of stick mobility class. Oh my! Okay, better. Better. Uh, yeah. All right. So, um, I did not, and Jose did not receive any uh, feedback on yesterday's class, but um. I have thought about some things, and I figured yesterday was kind of a focus on hips and back. So today we'll do some uh, arms and neck. I'm going to continue with the texter's neck routine because I, I feel like it's probably going to hit home for most of us. So um, I'm just going to give us a second or so because it looks like we have... People trying to join us. Hi, Tony. Hey, girl. Okay. All right. Tony, go get that broomstick. Take go the broom off. And participate. There you go. All right. So let's start with just uh, mobilizing shoulders, right? Again, we probably have a lot of people sitting at desk doing the text thing, or maybe you're a side sleeper. So we're gonna start. Um, with a shorter stick, so if you have long arms, you might use one of the five foots. If you have a four foot, this is great. This is perfect for my wingspan. So I'm going to hold it across my body like so. Oh, hold on, we got an interference on the one. I'm going to be loose leaf. And I'm going to show you, I'll turn to the side here. And I do want to find my fourth stance. So again, that is knee soften, tailbone tuck, flat back. And um, legs, knees, or hips are all in line with shoulders, but I'm going to start drawing big circles now. Nice big circles with the pencils I have uh, laced onto my knuckles. Okay? So nice big circles with my penciled up knuckles. I got, I'm a poet and I just don't know it. There you go. What are you laughing at, Jose? She is way more entertaining than I am, okay? For those of you that missed my morning workout with a band, uh, we had a few people chiming in, but I'm not as comical as she is. I'm a few cups of coffee in. Oh, see, I'm behind. I didn't have my coffee before mine. I went. All right, and now we're going to go backwards. So, again, I have my stick to my um, lace across my body here. I'm just going to let my top arm, my top shoulder fall back. So now I'm drawing backward circles with my knuckles. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you keep breathing. Good. It's easy for me, I think, to keep breathing because I don't stop talking, right? Ever. Go. I'll let everybody chime in on that note. Ever. Ever, ever. I talk so much. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's funny. So when uh, our oldest son, he was like four years old at the time, or three or four, I don't remember. I'd pick him up from school and I would ask him about his day and he'd answer a few questions and then all of a sudden he'd look at me and he'd go, Mommy, I'm just not talking anymore. He was done, he was over. All right, so now we got the shoulders mobilized here, okay? What I want you to do is see my stick mobility? It's at my chest height. My arms are nice and straight here, everybody see? So I don't have crooked elbows, they're straight. They're making like a, a V, a Y in front or so. And what I'm gonna do, stand in my horse stance, and I'm applying some pressure, not a lot, like 30% push. So I'm shrinking the stick, and I'm just moving my arms. Notice my head has not come off any of these screens or cameras. And neither is my hips. I'm not rotating my hips. No swing. Just my arms. I'm not moving my neck either. I did, but that was just to show you. So nobody can call me out. So everything is nice and square with the equipment or the wall in front of me. Only the arms are moving. And I'm noticing each time I 
uh, complete a rep or do this motion, I'm going further behind you with my back hand. So I'm opening up, what is that, like the scapula and your shoulder blades, T-spine a bit more. So I'm increasing my range of motion. Meanwhile, I'm working some bicep and tricep because I have this pressure, this squeeze, okay? So if you want to make it um, more challenging or harder, turn this into a strengthening workout, then you just apply more pressure with that push, with that shrink, okay? But I, I don't want to do too much of that just yet. Um, I'm already getting warm in here, so once, hey, feel the layer. No, it's fine. Um, all right, so next what we're going to work on is stirring your pot, or stirring the pot. And again, that is arms and shoulders that we're going to strengthen, okay? So, okay, so I have an obstruction here, so just make sure you're aware of what's going on in your surrounding area, okay? So again, I'm horse stance, and notice I don't have that arch back, I'm bringing it in, and protecting my little back. Again, we're not open. Legally, we cannot touch anybody if you hurt your back following along with our videos. So my wrist is in line with my shoulder. I'm gonna bring my shoulder blade back to activate, and then I'm just gonna put my hand, and I'm gonna tilt the stick like I'm fishing and casting, and I wanna go 10 times, and this is just kind of turning everything on for me. Waking up my shoulders, you might start feeling a little burn. It's like, well, hello. Um, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. So just tilting that stick. Good. I'm making sure everybody, all angles in the camera see. Good. All right, so you probably feel the burn up here and like right in front of you. Good, your muscles are working. All right, so again, we're gonna switch. And again, it's wrist is in line with shoulder. Pull the shoulder blade back to activate. Protect the low back, so do that tailbone tuck and help horse stance. Ooh, I don't know. And tilt that stick. 10 to 12 times. Nice tilting. And notice I did get a little fast, right? Try to slow the motion down, okay? It's time under tension, right, Jose? That's right. That's right, you don't wanna, this, you don't wanna rush through these because then you're not gonna actually do what it's supposed to do. Good. So again, you probably have that little burn feeling here and here and maybe in nothing. Good, huh? We'll do that at the end of the video. All right, so um, we're gonna go back to our right arm that we started doing those castings. Same situation here, wrist is in line with shoulder. Shoulder's blade's gonna get pulled back. And now we are going to make small little circles, small little circles. So notice I'm not going out like that. No, 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 I'm not going out like that. Now listen, I'm doing small little controlled circles because I have a nice big pot of hot chocolate. I cannot waste anything because we're in this quarantine situation, right? It's supposed to be social distancing and limited power. Time out grocery store, so I cannot waste any of my hot chocolate, right? And now I'm starting to go backwards. Maybe I already noticed, but I'm now doing a backwards circle, and I'm starting at, we're gonna go for, excuse me, 10 again. So it's 10 each direction, okay? And now I've done that, and <laughs> Somebody's messaging and calling and say, oh, I miss this class in person. Yeah, me too. Um, and we again, all miss it, but we we're all, doing the best we can. <laughs> we, all, we all miss getting out of the house too. All right, the break from kids. All right, so again, nice small little circles. Small little circles forward. 
So those of you that don't know us, um, the garage was actually our original start of business, right? So it's like we're back to old habits, old stomping grounds. It works. All right, and then opposite direction. Technically, it all started out of the trunk of my old car. Okay, there we go. Okay, go then ahead. we then we get, then we upgraded and got here. Uh, well, we made a few upgrades, and then along we eventually the way. got that. Yeah. Good. I am going opposite direction. Good. 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 Oh, and the burn is real, man. So, if you want to shrug, shake, wiggle, jiggle, do it. I I know we probably need that. Okay. So next. Again, with that stick mobility stick or arms, I am going to get into some hip stuff for that side box. Um, up like a Y again, and this is how we ended yesterday. So we are, we've mobilized, we've activated, right? So now, um, my phone, can you turn it a little bit to me? I keep getting cut off. Okay, so now what we're going to do is push. So we're shrinking the stick for so push, 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 okay? And notice my form, okay? I'm not out here like that. I am making my Good. And now I'm pulling. So pull, pull, pull. Lengthen that stick. Good. Good. So what was this equivalent to? A press up? Not yet. We've got some Good, and pull. So you can go through this, make it as um, hard or easy as you want, okay? You can do as many reps as you want. It is, um, it's kind of like, it's up to you, right? So again, we are doing 30 minutes of this. Good, push, pull. So last pull. So now I kind of really want to like muscle it, right? I do want to pull as much as I can. And really strengthen here. Good. All right. And then I'm just going to go back and I'll dislocate to kind of ease things. But I'm going to get into my next series because, again, I, I know what's happening in my house. So I, I do feel pretty confident to say it's probably happening in other folks' homes. So we're going to start by looking up to the ceiling, keeping that horse stance position. And then slowly bring the head down and smush it into our chest. Remember, it's like we have a little break under our chin that we're trying to pop. So, so it's five sets of these. Good, notice that stretch in the upper back. And last one. Squeeze that great. Good. You get that bigger stretch. Good. Next, we're going to go range of motion, okay? So we're going to go, and again, we're not getting our picture taken, so we don't need to lift our chin to hide the double chins. We want the double chin, okay? We um, we do currently. Break the double elbow. Yep, yeah, we um, want that double chin. Oh, my hands are really getting... Okay, so it is um, chin to shoulder, 10 times. So if you're taking notes, so you can do this at home, later on this afternoon or something, it is range of motion, chin to shoulder, 10 times. This is what it looks like from the side. Really trying to get that chin in line with the shoulder. If you have a stiff neck or have a family member or loved one, spouse, friend, stiff neck or neck issues, this is perfect to show them. Just remember, you need the gobble gobble. Good. All right, so 10 of those. Next is ear to shoulder. So just let that head fall and then slowly bring it over. Now you might hear some things kind of making noise. That's okay. It is gas bubbles, and just your body tends to hold on to your toxins. 
It's called lactic acid. It's just, all that stuff's kind of breaking up. It's moving around, and it will come out. The more you move, the more toxins come out, right? So 10 of these guys, nice. My last one, cool. Good. And if you don't crack or you don't have any of those noises, it's perfectly normal, it's perfectly okay. Maybe you got a really good neck and you're lucky. All of us are envious, okay. So, you know my saying, right? It ain't gonna stick mobility class if we're not doing a chicken. So, extend that neck, bring in the double chin, and extend it. Leave it alone. Ten times, okay? Now, if you want to put rotation in it and go a bit bigger, you can. You're going to look like this. Going out to the side. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to do. Okay. That's it. All right, so come out of that stick from behind your neck. We're going to continue here with this upper side. I need a call. Excuse me. One second. I'm so sorry. All right. So with that, we are going to hinge now, okay? So stack my hands around that uh, a little bit higher than the stick mobility sticker, okay? And I'm going to press it down into the floor a bit. I'm not going to kill it. I'm not going to do a big press because I don't want to fatigue. I'm... I'm not looking to strengthen him right now. I'm looking to stretch, okay, and activate. So butt is going to go to the back of the wall here. Notice how flat my back is. My head's not going like that. My head is in line, so I have a nice straight spine. Jose, you want to come in like a draw line down? And you notice how straight it is, right? I and sure do. Months, actually, he could put something on it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Straight line. Okay, so Straight I'll round line. it back. Not like this. Not you see like how that. that's rounded? You want to keep that back nice and straight. So reach back with your hip, chest, stay straight. Now, when this is also really straightening correctly, I'm getting actually like a, a pretty nice hamstring stretch. And sometimes, depending on how tight you are, it might even go down to like a little bit behind your knee, addressing part of that calf. Okay, okay. Um, so. What I want to do now is put some rotation in, keeping my hips stabilized. So I'm not going to swing my hips. I'm not golfing, okay? But I am going to reach, exhale, inhale, and go opposite direction. Nice. So I get this stretch from my right hip going into my right armpit. If I'm really, really tight and pressing, I might even feel it mid-tricep. And then opposite direction, leave hip stabilized. Oh, so good. Good. I noticed I rounded my back. I kind of let it go. Don't do that. Make sure you keep your integrity in your posture, okay? And then back to neutral and nice and slow come up, okay? And that's good if you catch yourself coming out of posture, okay? So sticks behind you now. Um, again, stack your hands to your comfort and your liking. Keep your core stance. Let the shoulder blades connect, and you're going to thrust that chest out to correct any slumping that's going on at the back of the table or your home office. We're going to live on the couch for that matter. Good. So this is what it looks like from behind. So my shoulder blades are really connected and really, really touching. So if Jose comes over here and tries to stick his finger in between my shoulder blades, they're going to be so tight, he can't get his finger in there. You want to give it a try? Of course. Okay, look. He can't really get in between the blades, okay? They're together. They're smushed together. Good. All right. So now what I want to do, um, we're going to talk about like the hip flexor and the quads, okay? Because again, I realize that a lot of us are probably doing a lot more 
um, sitting than it intended. Yesterday, we really focused on like groin work and stretching, so I don't want to do that same thing again today, but, oh, I have technical difficulties with your laptop. Um, so let me try to scoot up. Good sign. No, scoot me down. All right, so we're going to go on a half kneeling stance, right? So one foot is behind me and that toe, the toe is flexed. If you can comfortably do that, great. If not, you go flat foot. Like, I get it. It hurts sometimes or people have jacked up toes. So um, do what's comfortable for you. With the knee that is bent at 90 degrees, that hand's going to hold on to about the stick mobility sticker, okay? And the knee that is on the floor, that hand's going to go up top. And I'm going to press down into the floor. So this arm's going to go out and this arm's going to go down. I'm going to take my hips and my low back with me. And I'm going to look square at the wall in front. Okay? So I need to move the stick out because I do need to make some adjustments because I'm just not feeling the stretch. There we go. But here I have a nice stretch and my quad and my hip flexor, okay? Good, you can come out of it. Um, go to your comfort. And now, if I wanna hit some of these spatula lines, what I would do is kinda of like, kinda of like bounce a bit, okay? So it's not so static. Good, and equilibrium, so stretch sides. You might want to get a pillow or like folding over mat and have um you have a hard floor. So preserving the stick, I'm gonna rotate. Top hand's gonna press down, bottom hand's gonna press out. Good push. Uh, and you're gonna notice one of your sides is always tighter or less um, it's more restrictive. Less range of motion in there. Good. Nice. All right. And then just take your time coming up. So that's hips. That's for um, setters, sitters, you desk jockeys. Um, so next, okay, next what I want to do is that human bow, right? So we do a human bow and arrow with stick mobility. And stick's gonna go to the side. I'm gonna be, a, again, around my stick mobility sticker here to my side by about maybe like a um, good 12 inches or so. Feet go wide. Don't hyperextend those knees and don't arc step back. So you are standing nice and straight. Top hand, you're gonna press down and push out. So now I'm getting those lateral lines. We did posterior chain. So now it's important we do those lateral lines, right? Make sure your shoulder's not in your ear, so your shoulder should be relaxed. And you can let your head go. So now I feel this from the side of my Hips or back, go back, traveling to almost my armpit, okay? Good. Come out of it. Switch sides. Okay, turn your stick around to preserve it. So I'm gonna give you the back side of the sticker now. So I am pushing, putting a, um, a bend in it. Good. Oh, let the head go. I'm going to walk my hand down here a bit. Oh, yeah, buddy. So good. Uh, all right. So, next, we are going to go on to one stick, so one stick, and it's kind of like out to your side. You want to go straight arm, 
So now the, you want to straighten the arm. The reason you straighten and you push is because then it's going to activate your core. Okay? You kind of have that like angle off in front of you. You'll once you get into this position, you're going to find your comfort. So go ahead, stabilize on one foot. The other one's going to come out. You're going to start hinging over and straightening that back leg out, okay? So from the front, this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you from the side, okay? So stabilize, high knee, start hinging, hold, breath in, breath out. Back up. Bad balance, get your chair, and you can go two hands. Get your like high back kitchen chair. Good. And switch sides. So I'll show you this angle here. Stable. Straight arm, stick it out, start changing, hold, breath in, breath out, so you notice our balance is shakier on this side, breath in, breath out, start going down, In and out with the breath, and back up. Good. So if you started to cramp, you can fix that. Um, those calf walks we did yesterday. So you get in that lunge stance. Your stick is going to go in front of you. I think yesterday I did it with two sticks. Now everybody's going to have two sticks, so get in that lunge stance, split stance, burner stance, whatever stance you want to call it, right? Oh, hello. Um, start pumping or walking the back foot, so you're going to come up to like your toes and then get on your heel. You want to pull about 10 of these guys. So. This is an active stretch. If you want a static stretch, good. Let the back foot rest a moment and switch. So again, you do want to apply some pressure on that stick so that the core gets turned on. Back foot is on the floor. Make sure your foot is completely on the floor. Don't let your heel or yeah, the heel of your foot be slightly lifted. It all needs to be flat on the floor, okay? Press down with the stick, up onto the toes, and walk on. It's just sit here and say it's awfully quiet. Good. All right, once you've done 10, let the back foot rest for a moment. Nice inhale, exhale. Good. Come on out of that. And that's all I have for you today. Um, if you want something, I'm not giving it to you. Send me a message or stretch moves, email, stretch moves, to, or what is it? Info at stretchmoves.com um, or comment below. We are definitely looking for feedback. Also, if the time doesn't work, let us know that too. I know we have some folks on uh, different time frames that are trying to take these classes. Um, lives are available for how long? Uh, lives, I believe, are available for 24 hours. Um, I'm in the middle of trying to figure out how to download all these lives so that we can put them up on our page, our Facebook page. Um, and you can also send them out in an email um, so that you guys can have a, the uh, link and 
What I'll probably do is upload all these to YouTube um, and just create a channel there so that I can send those links out via email so you guys can have access to these whenever you want. Okay? And then also in light of the situation and the stressful time that we're currently in, I did uh, breathing techniques kind of like I got in meditation a bit. Um, feedback from that was outstanding. Um, I think we got more feedback on that uh, than any of the other things we've done, whether it's banded, stick work, the mobility work that I did yesterday. I think given the circumstances, everybody's kind of looking forward to and needing right now anyway some of that relaxation breathing. So, so if you want that, we did um, we did, and we're able to download that into another file. Leave a comment below, and we can get that email or I think even a uh, text message or send it in a – one of these DMs from one of these social sites. I can do that as well. So let me know. Feedback is very much welcomed and I appreciate it. Because if we're not addressing some of your needs without you guys commenting, we're not sure, right? We don't know how to best help you, um, considering we can't be in direct contact with you during this difficult time. Any feedback, even if, you know, my hair needs to be combed, whatever it is, um, it's too bright, it's too not loud enough. Whatever it is that you guys are looking for, you have questions with, please Let don't hesitate. Um, right now is your chance to speak up and get some uh, get some tips, get some health tips. Stay strong, stay healthy. And remember, if something's not feeling good, you need a modification. Again, that's a good time to chime in and let him or I know. Um, Again, we're, we're not able to operate um, at full capacity, at but full <laughs> we're doing the best we no can. No touchy touchy. So, yeah, if something's not feeling good, you're getting locked up, uh, that would be kind of uh, important for us to know so that we can do a modification because getting on his table right now is not enough. Yes, know. but having said that, to follow up with that, I am doing um, virtual one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you are having, like, shoulder issue or you are having neck issue or back, um, you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consult with me, um, I will leave that open for you guys to – to book with me, so I'll put a I put a link in the comments, both on Instagram uh, as well as Facebook, so that you guys can reach out to me. We can set something up um, because that's the best we can do right now is try to help you remotely. Um, but I can still guide you through workouts. I can still guide you through stretches, some ways of getting out of pain, um, getting joints to move a little bit better without hurting it. Try to get some inflammation down. Uh, so all these things um, are available to you. Again. Um, bear with us, but understand it's going to be a virtual endeavor. And also, if you have any um, co-workers or family members that you think would benefit from this, again, uh, that's a good comment. I think he created a, a private Facebook group, so they do need to be, like, invited. I did. So um, let us know that person's name or send us, like, a screenshot of what their profile looks like so that we can invite them to that group. Or you can invite them to the group yourself. Oh, okay. So there you go. Um, perfect. Okay, so that's all I got. I don't know if he has anything else. Um, that's all I got for you for now. Yep. 2.30, 2 I'll be back on for more mobility um, and movement. So, again, it'll be unassisted.